Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Yomesh Gupta and in this video we are going to build a very simple moving dot animation. It's a front-end coding challenge on DevTools Tech platform. In this we will implement a cursor animation where whenever we move our cursor this red dot will move along with it. We will dynamically set the coordinates of the red dot on the cursor movement. It's a very simple uh, coding challenge and we'll also see after implementing this that by using this what else we can build on top of it. So without wasting any time let's get started. So let's start building this by uh, creating a new div that's going to be the ball. So let's create a div and let's give it a class of dot. Now we'll go back to our styles we'll say dot and in this Let's give it a width of 50 pixel, height of 50 pixel, uh, background color which is going to be red and border radius which is going to be 50%. So now we have this red dot here which is at the top left. Uh, our aim is that whenever we move the cursor then it should move along with it. So that means now the next step is that we need to find a way to find the coordinates where which the cursor currently exists. So we have different uh, event handlers like on uh, click, on hover, but this is specifically when we move. So, so there could be something called uh, on mouse move. Let's check that out on mouse enter. Let's search this first MDN. So let me just zoom in what it says that is the event is fired at an element when pointing device is initially moved so that its hotspot is within the event okay but i don't think that's required in this case what we have on mouse move let's see what is the use of this event is fired at an event when a pointing device is moved while the cursor hotspot is inside it okay but our aim is that we have to find the coordinates so can we have something better what we have pointer down, pointer event, pointer left, pointer move. Okay, let's check pointer move. The pointer move event is fired when the pointer changes coordinate. So basically what we want the coordinate and the pointer has not been cancelled by the browser. So let's use this. So on pointer move, let's say what we are getting. We are getting the event. Let's console log the event and see. So I'll just uh, open the inspect element. I'll just uh, zoom in a bit, close this, clean this. Now if I'm, you know, moving my mouse, I'm getting this pointer event reacts. And if I check inside this, then we have alt key, bubbles, button, buttons, cancelable. We have client X and client Y. So these are the two properties that we uh, need to to get the uh, coordinates of the our event our pointer so we need to store this so let's create a state import use state from react so we need the use state let's clean this let's close this for now so we'll say called coordinates and set coordinates U state will make x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. Uh, let's format the code. And inside this, we can set these coordinates. So we can call set coordinates with x is equal to e dot client x, which we just saw, and y dot client y. Okay, so we got this. Now let's console this law console this out coordinates and wait something is on okay e dot client sorry my bad so now if we scroll now if we check again and we just move our cursor then we are getting coordinates which is the x value and y value okay great so now we have to pass this x value and y value to our ball and we have already seen so we can make it uh, like a position absolute so first for that we need to make the container 
relative because it would be relative to our uh, main tag that inside this it should move so we would make a position absolute okay this is done now what we have to do here is that we have to move it as per the cursor so we already have the cad uh, coordinate so what we can do here is we can use the style tag we can use transform now to move the cursor we can we have to you know uh, for this we can use the property translate so we'll say translate the syntax here is x coordinates comma y coordinates so we'll replace those so we'll call coordinates dot x pixel and here we are going to call coordinates dot y pixel and if we check it now see our dot is moving with our cursor now but still it's if I zoom in a bit still it's not you know 100% it's a bit of lagging behind not lagging it is not you know within what we call center align so we now we know that our width is 50 pixels and our height is 50 pixel that and we have to center line it so we can use something like that top which is half of the width which is 25 pixels and left is also minus 25 pixel see now if I check it is in the center R because we have we put the translate which is moving the ball setting the coordinates in real time but we have to we have to make sure that our cursor is within the center so that's why we I have moved it uh, uh, in a negative direction to x coordinates and y coordinate with the half of the diameter of the circle in this case. So let me, oh what happened yeah zoom out. So now this is done so we can say this was a very simple app where we just with one you know this much code and just a simple uh, CSS we got this working. So you must be wondering what's next. We have built this challenge uh, pretty quickly. It was fairly a quick and easy one. So I'll show you a couple of examples, inspirations, uh, where this challenge is more like a precursor or step one to achieving such animations. Now it's up to you. You can use what you have learned in this video to come up with some creative solutions and build on top of it. I'm looking forward to those. So please feel free to reach out or share it in the comments. Now moving to the inspirations, if you see on the screen on this website, when I move the cursor, then this, uh, you know, animation happens. So by knowing the coordinates of the events, uh, coordinates of the pointer, we can do so all crazy things. Another example would be on this website, when I move the cursor, then there is this uh, crazy animation uh, on the background. So you can do something like this. So what I've shown is like a basic version of the getting to know the cursor uh, coordinates and doing something with it. So you can do crazy stuff with it. Another one would be this animation where basically you change the cursor all together with this dot and as you move then your uh, this circle moves along with you. There could be another one like this where this again the circle the cursor is a circle and it changes based on how you move and where what sort of overlapping you are having with different uh, different elements. You can see a lot of code pens also like something like this where you have replaced the uh, cursor with a dot and when we hover over the elements then we are seeing some different nice animation or nice uh, transition here. So this is something cool uh, and one simple one would be that we have changed it to a dot and as we move then we see this dot here. So this brings end to our video. I hope you were able to learn something new today. As always if you feel that we, you know we could have done something better or maybe some other way to achieve this then please definitely share your feedback your solutions in the, down in the comments. Plus uh, uh, do like share and subscribe if you see value in it and a lot more videos on a lot more interesting topics are coming up so uh, hit that bell icon and till next time take care bye bye